What's the damn deal? It's Big Trey, never the fucking little one. And welcome to Life of Trey. Y'all yeah, can't sing. Anyways, before we get started, I appreciate you tuning into this video. Like, comment, subscribe, join the fam. So, I'm gonna bring to y'all a story time, y'all. I suck at telling stories, right? Suck at telling stories, but I've been having a lot of people ask me about this. So, I mentioned in one of my last videos, like, there was a time that I got a gun put to my head. Like, to my head. Scary shit I've ever experienced, okay? So, let me try to set the scene. Um, back in, God, I had to be like a freshman in high school. Yes, this shit happened when I was a freshman in high school. Traumatic ass shit to go through at the age of what, like 13, 14. So at the time I was dating this girl and she actually ended up, she actually was my first girlfriend, okay? So plenty of times we had to sneak around to see each other because her mom was okay with it, but her dad was nothing thing for it right so um there's been some times that i had to sneak out of her house and times i hid in the closet all kind of shit like this okay so this is like your average day and you know um one of the days where, like, I would come pick her up and, like, we would go somewhere. But I think, like, her and her dad got into it this day. And, um, I remember saying, like, I didn't really know they got into it, but I know I was like, I'm going to pick you up. We're going to go out to get breakfast. Okay? So, it's like a Saturday morning. And I leave my house. She probably stays, like, eight minutes down, like, not too far, like, not in my neighborhood, but, like, the next neighborhood over. So, I pull up, and she's, like, running. Like, you can tell she, like, is not leaving the house, because, like, I'm parked on the street, and she's coming out the house. So, like, oh, okay, so I guess we're hiding from her dad. Okay, so, shoot. She gets in the car, I speed around the corner, whatever, cool. I'm like, oh, my God. Girl, when I drop you off, I'm dropping you off around a corner because what's going on? She was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She always called her dad Brad the dad. She's like, Brad the dad is tripping, right? So I'm like, oh, man, he always tripping. Like, your mama don't ever be on this time. Your daddy just be tripping. So we go. I kid you not. I think we went to, like, Denny's. Like, it was, like, the closest breakfast spot. I probably would have went to IHOP or Waffle House first, but we went to Denny's. And we sat there and we were eating, talking, you know, couple shit. And her dad kept calling her phone. Like, bring your ass back home. Bring your ass back home. Bring your ass back home. And I remember, like, yo, he got to calm down. But then, like, he, I don't remember, man, because I mind y'all, this shit had to be, like, obvious, like I'm saying, this is, like, 12 years ago. So, we leave Denny's and we drive back towards her dad's house. Mind you, he's still blowing her phone up. Like, my heart is fucking racing. Like, my shit is fucking racing. Like, I'm scared as shit because I don't know what this nigga's capable of. I just know that. He's one of those parents that he is nothing for his daughter talking to a girl. It's another topic. We'll discuss that shit later. Uh, so the closer we get to like, I know I'm going to make this right. Like her house is, you bust this right off the main street. You pass up a little side street. Like the sixth house on the right is hers. Okay. So I'm coming up. On the main street where I know I'm gonna make this right. And I know why I damn near could just look down and see her house. Scared as shit. So I'm driving slow at this point. I turn around the corner. 
pull up to the house in front of her dad's house. Bef the house before you get to her dad's house. And this nigga is outside. It's kind of like some bushes in between, so you really can't see what's going on. So, like, I planned on dropping her off, letting her run in the house, and me pull off. So that ain't nothing crazy going on with the situation. Anyways, this nigga's outside. He sees my car pull up. This man has a gun in his fucking hands. For his daughter's girlfriend. Like, I don't know why he needed a gun. He's a grown-ass man. At this time, I was a freshman in fucking high school. I probably weigh 98 pounds. Soaking wet. And he is not even worried about his daughter sitting in the passenger seat. He's talking shit. But he walks smooth around my car. Into my window. Mind you, my window was down for some reason. I have no idea why. But it wasn't all the way down, but it was like cracked. And he is like putting the gun on like the windshield, like pointing at... If this is the fucking windshield, his gun is right here. Like, if he wanted to pull the fucking trigger, he would have shot me in my fucking head and I would have been dead. And I wasn't even on this man's property. And I was younger and his daughter was older than me. She had to be 17 at the time. And in Texas, that is legal. Yeah, don't ask why I was fucking driving, okay? I was bad. I was real fucking bad. But I used to drive every fucking where. I was that friend that, had, that I always had the car. And... I just remember time moving so slow. Like, if you ever been in like a near death experience, you know that like your life flashes in front of you. I saw me as a fucking baby and shit, like good memories. Like I was like, oh my God, I'm really finna fucking die. In my eyes, for like no fucking reason, like just for me being a girl that likes girls. Like that shit's fucked up. So back to the story. As he's like, has his gun on the window, my ex at the time was screaming to the top of her lungs, like, please, daddy, no, like, like, what the fuck, like, oh my God, like, you're tripping, right? Because he was very much so tripping. And I kind of remember, like, her doing so much over here that it finally got his attention off of the gun being pointed at my head. Like, and if you know a car window, you sitting in your car, the car window is like right here. So literally the gun is four or five inches away from my head, like the scariest shit. She catches his attention to the point where she finally like gets out the car because now I want to say he had the gun down and like I can finally breathe. And he walks around and like he grabs her and like he throws her towards the direction of the house. Like, get your ass in the house. Get your ass in the house. And y'all, when I tell y'all, at that moment, the fear in my heart, like, I don't, I'm not really like a scary ass person. But me being so young and being in shock with the situation, they like, I couldn't even just drive off at that moment. Like, I couldn't be like, oh shit, skirt. Because y'all have to realize that's a loaded weapon. Like, he can still fire. And bullets don't have nobody name on it. Like, he could have, like, real life shot at the car and still killed me. Like, so it took me a moment to kind of like, Oh my God, okay, now he's really like closer to the house. Now I can drive. When I tell y'all I drove so fucking fast around the corner and on the way to my house, like I had to stop before I got to my house because I literally started crying 
like questioning my life, my sexuality, like questioning everything. Like, is it worth it? Like, I just wanted to go to eat with my girlfriend, like, but I was finna lose my life. Like, there was a gun pointed in my head behind this shit. I don't, y'all don't, man. I don't think y'all understand, bro. If you never had no gun put to your fucking head, not on no plan shit, but on some real life shit, like somebody with some animosity in their heart, put some fear in your fucking chest, like, that shit will humble the fuck out of you. And that shit right there taught me that in any situation, bro, you never fucking know. Like, a lot of shit is not fucking worth it, bro. I remember wanting to die after that shit, bro. Bro, please, just put yourself in my, like, really know that that shit, like, nothing about that shit was nothing I could fucking ever, like, go back and laugh at. Like, still to this day, like, that shit, like, really still way with heavy as fuck on my heart. Like, I never, I never thought I would see the moment that a gun was put to my head for something so I don't know I can't I don't even know if like basic is the fucking word but like this is like some everyday shit like what was the point of that shit like I can't even tell y'all like okay I went home, I told my mom, like, what happened, you know. And I will say, I don't, I really don't know if I agreed with how both of my parents handled the situation. Because at the moment, I felt like I wanted revenge. But I had to step back and understand that two wrongs don't make a right. And then, too, I would hate to put either one of my parents in a situation where it could be some crazy shit where they could be facing time in prison or lose their life. So, you know, at the moment, I was like, oh, my God, I wanted more to be done about the situation. Like, bro, I couldn't stand her father after that shit. Like, and me and her ended up dating, like, a year after that shit. Like, a year... I don't know, probably like six months. Nah, like six months, but still, that's a long ass time. Like, we sent a day in six months that day, but her mom was not on no time like that. Like, I used to go to her mom's house, chill. Like, her mom had no problem with that shit, but her daddy was on some different shit. Like, for real, scariest shit I've ever experienced in my fucking life. That, for sure. So, um,. I don't know uh, what else I can really say about that shit. That was a story about how I got a gun put to my head. Uh, yo, this is real, like, real shit. Like, a real-ass story, bro. Um, so, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me any other story times y'all would like to hear, bro. Uh, I don't know if I painted that picture well enough for y'all to really see what was going on. But just know that my mind was all over the place when that shit was happening. So, like, that shit was, like, really crazy. This was, like, my first time ever really telling that story. Um, So, thank you all for watching. Um, Let me see. Oh, my service is so trash down here. Um... I appreciate all the love and support, um, but these are not easy to do. Um, so thank y'all, and you ain't gotta go home, but you gotta get the up out of here. It looks like you lost another one.